The nightmare is over! Oh, man. And then there's a phase two, right? Uh, can you buy a piece game for PC and play on Wings? Uh, is Wings supposed to be the private server? I don't know. I know you can buy the game for PC. I don't know about Wings. Mm, unless you mean Wings of the Goddess, in which case, yeah, you can totally play Wings of the Goddess. But I'm pretty sure you mean, like, private servers. I don't know anything about private servers. My oh my, we feel obliged to say. Truly, that was an inspiring display. Be warned though, against us you stand not a chance, even under the most auspicious circumstance. And I warn you not to underestimate us, Domina. We have the power of original Shantoto on our side. Your twisted ambitions end here and now. Yeah, it's gonna be retail. So you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna do re the, re you just buy the normal game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It appears that you have gone and found our soft-spoken other half and brought her here to these grounds. But be warned once more not to raise your hopes high, for they surely will end up plummeting from the sky. It's good, Shantoto. So long as I exist, your plan for world domination shall never take root. There'll be no such gratification. For the only new nation that is set to emerge is my holy Shantoto Empire. Yours must settle for a dirge. The holy Shantoto Empire? What in Altana's name are you saying? I have obviously neglected to make my make clear my intent to make the world a better place by virtue of my advent. It would appear we've misjudged grievously. It matters not a smidgen how many incarnations of Dr. Shantoro there are. They all harbor the same evil, evil inclination that they are the very core of the Doctor's being. Yeah, this game is still here. It's It didn't go away, so uh, you can do 99 and do the Empyrean weapons and play people. Uh, apparently, level 99 content is still popping. Is very, uh, you know, there's a lot going on, so hopefully you uh, you find it and you enjoy yourself. Uh, now that of your personal plans, we have been made aware of a proposal we put forth. Hear us out, if you should care. Should we? T oh, hey, thanks. Thanks for taking us to the Great Wood. I appreciate it. Should we too, Shantotos, come together and form a team, nothing would could oppose us. We would surely realize our dream. Nation after nation, we shall subjugate and subdue. Once the world is our, we can split the spoils in two. And the likelihood we grow weary of each other's face, the solution will be simple. A final showdown to end the race. Nice try, Domina, but you of all people should know better. No Dr. Shantoto worth her salt would ever dream of sharing power with another. Your proposal is worthy of consideration. Pray allow me to ponder my decision. What? I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, do I see the merits of working with one accord? As such, you have my cooperation, as much as I can afford. So now we have two enemies. Oh, the goddess be good. I don't like the way the situation's unfolding. Well, this is bad. Even as we stand here chatting and tra tra trading pleasantries, the curse's power draws ever near to its upper boundaries. Prepare yourself then to experience the ultimate bliss, 
Our Shantotification spell is guaranteed to never miss. Not a soul in Vanadil can hope to escape the delightful fate of taking on our luscious shape. You dare transform everyone in Vanadil into yourself? With our two Shantoto hearts beating as one. From here on out, the journey will be twice as fun. Unbelievable. A right fool I was to not have seen this coming. We placed our trust where it wasn't due, and now we are paying the price. In dealing with the likes of Dr. Shantoto, one must ever be ready for the unexpected. Yeah, we're all dead, Light. We're all dead. There's two of them now. In any case, there's small use now brewing over our ill judgment. We must find out where the two Shantotos have gone. I will return to the Federation for a time in order to scour for leads. Just get Enacros. <laughs> in the meantime, please return to Juno and be on standby. I will join you as soon as possible. Understood, Professor. We pray for your success. I'd sooner rot in the abyss than be a slave to those deranged doctors. But then again, I like Vanadil the way it is. And I'm sure I speak for everyone. She can make you an endless supply of Shantoto? Oh, okay. That sounds useful. Isn't that the mom of the twins? Isn't that who that's supposed to be? Enacros? You have to forgive me. I only, I only watched a little bit of that game here and there. How, how tough can Shantoto be? I killed those eight black mages. <coughs> it's Shantoto, man. <laughs> the crystal's copious power feeds your curse without cease. Make no mistake, this bird is ripe for release. Our custom-made curse in its fully charged state will unleash upon Venadil a irreversible fate. Every creature alive will be delighted to take the luscious form of yours truly, even if they are fake. And then a perfect world order shall arise, one that exists solely for our pleasure, all the way to the skies. And the holy Shantoto Empire shall shine forevermore. If it's not y to your taste, we'll gladly show you the door. You two Shantotos, hold it right there. Don't even think about releasing that curse into all the world. Thanks. Good job, Nana. Nana found these, found Shan both Shantotos while getting herself killed. Ah, the young upstart who knows not when enough is enough. Turn around and leave, or we'll be forced to play rough. Impertinence in men makes our hackles rise. You have earned yourself an unpleasant surprise. Calm of temperament, though I might appear to be, if push over the edge, I will be red that I see. Death by Cain? Or death by curse. The music's here. You decide which one is worse. Brace yourself, fools, for a double serving of pain. When we're through with you, naught but ashes shall remain.
Whoa, that's a lot of buffs. Whoa, that's a lot of stats. But they didn't raise my agility? <laughs> Alright. Whoa, that's a lot of HP. You must have missed the hacks. I think I was pretty thorough, but you might be right. Invincible Shield is sharing my buffs, by the way. Look at Invincible Shield's fucking health. Oh, hot damn. I'm still gonna go with my strat though, better be safe than sorry. I'll just eat food, just, you know, for fun. get this show on the road. Let's go, Invisible Shield! Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure my... Well, I think at least. I think my dragon just healed someone for 2,000. No, sorry, 1,420. Are you not dead? Can you just die? All right, there's one! Come get this fucking ass whooping.
This is the what it feels like to be level 99 starter kit. We got hit with the Divine Malison. Alright, so I probably needed those key items the whole time. In fact, I probably needed the key items for the last fight also. Victory is ours! <coughs> Sorry, it took me like five seconds to register that I won. Because there was a moment there where I was like, is she going to start doing like 3,000 damage AoE, like non-stop? <sighs> baby, baby, baby. Well, well, doctors. Looks like it's the end of the high road for the two of you. For whom the high road ends is not for you to decide. We shall emerge triumphant. You have picked the wrong side. The curse's potency has reached its peak. The whole lot of you will soon be up the creek. What are you? Good cutscene incoming? I'm ready. Glory on high to the eternal Shantoto Empire! Your battered corpses shall fuel the celebratory pyre! I, I put that there. <laughs> Which, as a side note, if Aroha is like, oh my days. <laughs> that's a that's a giant Shantoto. When Iroha is like, oh, in the future everyone dies and everything's over. My main question should very well be like, 
Hey, in the future, where the fuck is Shantoto? Where? What is she doing? Um. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> okay. You guys thought Kefka was the strongest, uh, the, the, the best villain, huh? Oh, Kefka's so cool because he wins. Yeah, what does this look like to you? <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Yeah. Even the Chocobos? There's no way. All right, the Choco... No, even the Chocobos! No! Wing Zero is now a Shantoto clone. The curse has been unleashed and now wreaks havoc on the land. There are few things that we consider more than grand. In a matter of moments, Venadryl will be ours to rule. Your efforts were in vain, don't you feel like a fool? The last laugh shall be ours to cherish, and the last thing you hear before you all perish. <laughs> Easy there, children. That's quite enough. Mommy's come home. Be good and pack your stuff. What in the name of Altana? Do my eyes play tricks? Yo, what up? It's the hero. Back from ruling other dimensions. Apologies all around for having arrived fashionably late. But as the saying goes, good things come to those who wait. Y yet another Dr. Shantoto? The true Shantoto of this world, to be precise. But the details can wait. I have a curse to excise. <laughs> Good. Alright. You ever, you ever see Power Rangers? When the big monster has to fight the Megazord? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Sip a cookie! Did you know that Shintoto can dragon kick people? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Flash kick! Oh! We need Mega Dragon Sword power? We got. Oh no! Giant swing? You didn't break the chain grab? One of the top one cutscenes in the game. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I forgot that this happens. Until right before it started happening, I was like, oh yeah. Kaboom! There's another in Rhapsodies that's just as good. I'm looking forward to it. Kame 
Plunk. And the winner by technical knockout, Shantoto of Vanadil. Do not fuck with her. <laughs> uh, that would be a bad idea. <laughs> We're just gonna just do all the cutscenes again, just Oh, Arena? What in the world does I just do diddly doing? Oodling. Time to go talk to Kupipi and figure out what the hell just happened. Oh no. Oh no, she's learned the way. The little kid. He's gonna grow up to be just like Shantoto. This is so silly. This is incredible. <laughs> the curse has it been neutralized I believe so and just in the nick of time but one very big question still remains if this is the real Dr. Shantoto who stands before us now or who or what is the other one if this is the real one then who's the other one Let me remind you now, never once did I claim to ever have been of original fame. To alleviate further confusion, I offer you this solution. From this moment on, please call me Belle Shantoto, an inspired name befitting of its owner. Oh ho ho. All those just like, dude, I fucking... All those the chat at this point, just like... These Taru Taru, man. These Lalafell Taru Taru problem. What the hell? But how is this possible? All this time I was convinced that a failed teleportation experiment had split you into two. <laughs> you're an Oren, you're clearly misled. Allow me to explain what really happened instead. I'm, I'm fucking done at this point, is all though? Yeah. The experiments I conducted were for a potent new spell, which allows interdimensional travel. Now that is a scroll I should sell. Interdimensional travel, you say? But that's theoretically impossible. Oh, my skeptical colleague, will you never, ever learn. Impossible is it in my dictionary, no matter how many pages you turn. Now to make a long story worthy of being sung, to an alternate Vanadil I was forcefully flung. With a dearth of things to do over there, I tried my hand at building an empire fair. Alas, the empire was robbed of a chance to reach the height of glory, for its empress-to-be was ousted. 
Uh, never mind that story. Alright, so listen. Shantoto is possessive of her own world. She loves Vanadil, which is why, even though she's batshit crazy and beyond powerful, she just continuously helps you in protecting the world she's from. However, she actively teleported herself to another dimension where she wouldn't feel bad taking over the world. And more than likely brought these two Shantotos from their dimensions over, which probably had the same idea. I'd venture that these extraneous two were transported to this plane at the exact same time I found myself wandering in their domain. For them, however, the shock of impact proved too much to bear. The result of what you see this is the result is what you see before you. Remember, it's rude to stare. The probable cause, though it is merely a su supposition, is that splitting in two is the predisposition. Another theory suggests that my resilient strength of mind reduced my chance of being sundered, where lesser being beings would feel the grind. So, the Shantoto from the other dimension was split in half because they couldn't withstand the power of international travel, but our Shantoto totally traveled just fine because she's that dumb. Powerful. Although the details have yet to be fully revealed to me, my counterparts were up to mischief as plain to see. But now that I've made my triumphant return, the world can be at ease. Stomachs need no longer churn. But what is this? An inner voice that echoes from within fills my mind with wicked thoughts and urges me to sin. Should we three Shantotos come together and form a team? Nothing could withstand us. An empire would not be a dream. And Aldo is just like, what? IS THERE NO END TO THIS MADNESS?! <laughs> WILL THIS GAME FUCKING END?! Humorless Aldo dear, I was speaking in jest. The worst of it is over, you can soon get some rest. If I might make a comment, doctor, jests don't exactly become of you. Where do you intend to have us go? At the very least, we demand to know. To accommodate her and me and you, a single dimension just won't do. And returning to the dimension once you came is the only way to be whole again, one and the same. Loath as I am to be merged with her, it is your decision that I defer. I would rather not be held responsible for tearing the fabric of time, a crime unforgivable. So unless a kindly soul would volunteer to take a fall, the two of you are bound for home. This is the final call. She's that batshit crazy that a joke sounds serious? That's exactly the problem. Very well, you have our leave to do what must be done. Farewell, my dears. Go do us proud. It was short-lived, but fun. Oh, by the way, she's just doing it now whenever she wants. She just opens portals to dimensions. So if you ever look at Shantoto in Dissidia games or any NT game and you're always wondering, like, how come she's so calm about all this? It's because this is not new. <laughs> Everything is a joke to her. She doesn't care. She goes wherever she wants, and wherever she is, she's there because she wants to be there. Now that balance has been restored, I cannot help but feel a tad bored. So this nightmare is over at long last. Not so fast, Doctor. The Domain of Magic, 
You meddled in this time as hazardous beyond mortal comprehension. The world as we know it could have been damned for eternity. As a member of Academia, Yorin Orin, you should be fully aware. Advancements in magic and risks are inseparable. This fact I bring to bear. Uh, true enough. But there's a limit to everything, you know. Just this once, though, I'll concede the possibility that interdimensional travel could become a liability. And that the cons outweigh the pros and might give birth to a host of woes. See, she's a good guy. I shall swallow my pride and seal the beast and forego my dreams of being toast of the feast. I make this sacrifice for the peace and prosperity of the fair and beauteous Vanadil and its posterity. Ahem. Doctor, you make it sound as though you're the solution rather than the root of the problem. <laughs> I mean... Now I trust you won't object to claiming response of... Um, she's, uh, she's gone. What? What am I going to do with her? Nothing. L leave her alone, let her have her house, and bring her snacks. That's how this works. Cheer up, Professor. After all, the world is safe again, thanks to our efforts. Uh, so let bygones be go bygones. What do you say, hmm? Off to Orzia with Shantoto? Yep. Here I come. Uh, or Dissidia, or wherever. Uh, with time, even a headstrong woman like Dr. Shantoto should mellow down and perhaps even become a model citizen. Right. We can only hope, Aldo. We can only hope. But to think how close the world came to the brink of being unraveled? Had you and Zillertensia not intervened, none of us would be standing here at this moment. Now, now, Professor, any peace-loving person who calls Vanadil home would have done the same thing. No, there's no need for modesty. It's to you two that the world owes its survival. Aldo, Zillartensia, on behalf of the nation of Winders and its citizens, I offer you my heartfelt thanks. Whoa, go easy on the formalities there, Professor. After all, what we did, we didn't do just to get pats on the back. Just the knowledge of the world is no longer in peril is reward enough. Isn't that right, Zillartensia? Now, let us get back to living our lives in the Vanadil that we know and love. Zillertensia is no longer plagued. <laughs> Good. That's, uh, that's all three add-on expansions. We did it. Uh, so, all three base nations, all three add-on expansions. Rise of Zillart, Chains of Promethea, and Apocalypse Nine. We are fucking moving. Now we just have... Treasures, Wings, Abyssia Nonsense, and... Oh, I guess there's, like, uh, Adeline and Rhapsody. So we still have, like, five things to do. And so it was that the Shentoto Empire faded from the face of Anadil and peace was restored to the land. However, no guarantee exists that another Dark Shadow, like in form, will not emerge and threaten to rob the world of its light. Until such time, we can only pray from the bottom of our hearts that the period of tranquility will endure forevermore. Yoran Oren, my good sir, Areno, could you spare me a moment, Aruni, of your time doodly time? But of course, Principal Koromoru, how may I serve at the you this day? Honestly, I just skip Abyssia. I know, but we should at least look at it, right? And we have to go get the, the weapon skill belt anyway when we're level 90 or whatever. I wish not to alarm a doodly you, but Dr. Shantoto's recent ding-dang doodly behavior strikes me as Otterino. 
<laughs> what is she doing now? Oh, ha, 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 ha.